she's burning off the uh, knife. Must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof, flag down one of those choppers. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Ryan. Okay. <coughs> Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why do you got room for two of you? Oh, wait, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> Come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Shit than this before. Yeah. Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. Can't be far. Wait, hold on, cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it. Was it Rippers?
right behind you. I was wrong about him having to deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. I finally caught up with him. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Down this way. The tracks are fresh. So where the hell did you learn to track shit anyway? I used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, Boozer. He must be heading down there toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. He's not getting far. Come on. Search him. It's leading out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you know all about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste a bullet not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, uh, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon. He got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eat alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait! All right, all right, no, no, no. I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it. It's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. We don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch. Might be useful. No, I just gotta put them together and... Yes. There. Yeah, that ought to do it. Guess I won't be losing the arm anytime soon. We were going hunting tonight. Take some bounty send it, Tucker. Well, not if it's pissing down the rain. Nah, man. We need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. G 
me see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. Goddamn worth it. Son of a bitch. Guessing that's a fuel line, unless you just piss yourself. A fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shot out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything out of Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look, let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No, I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here. What? Well, uh, Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? Map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah, okay. So tomorrow, get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect on Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. You think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Hold on, something's blocking the road. Careful. I saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. Ready? Yep. Push! Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you wanna do this? We'll meet your shotgun. I'll walk point. Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at them all. A bunch of goddamn dumbasses, the lot of them. What are they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. Smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Hey, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Yeah. 
Sounds like you got your wish. Shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. Just drop it. Enough out of you. You're not getting your bike through there. Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. I can use this. Good. Another nest. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many Molotovs you got left? Whoa. You just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on. Get on. Yeah, okay. Give me a sec. What you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. 
Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. Wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. thinking and I already know it's a bad idea you just ride on through you pull as many of them off as you can and I just I go in through the back down that hill find the garage shit All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need you ride back we ride the hell out after I kill a few of the bastards I swear to God you got a death wish like I said not tonight oh, you stinking son of Go on. Get out of here, you little shits. A lot of ammo left.
going, brother? You ready? Not yet. Still gotta find a way in the Willie's garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Well, hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh... Now what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Ripper's put up. <sighs> Sigils. Yeah. It's not. It means they're up here somewhere. That's what I thought. Not more notes. God damn it. Yeah, that's right. Gotta be a fuel pump in here somewhere. Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Rippers. Boozer. Booze man. God damn it. Hang on, Booze man. I'm coming. Oh, God damn it, Boozer. Where are you? Oh, shit. Rippers. These tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! The bitches, biker man. You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. We will show you. I'm not one of the found. You are the lost! The you are lost! Get low! Get low! Get low. <laughs> <laughs> Rippers gotta go. It's like uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck! Uh, I didn't see them, and then, then they were on me. Oh, okay. No, don't look at it. My God, they are. I'm serious. Don't look at it. My God! Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go. you wait out here. Let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right. Pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out and find some shit for your arm. You get my bike. You gonna be okay? Yeah. 
Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that Nero checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it in the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer, I... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. Are you awake? Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deke it out. That's the last of them. <laughs> Must have followed us here. <sighs> Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before, it's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. Freakers.
Gotta get to my bike. Getting closer. <sighs> Gotta get close. Come on, baby. Where the fuck are you? This is it. This is where we left it. My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man! I swear! I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! You gotta ask Copeland! I don't know nothing! Hey! My bike! I didn't do nothing! Oh, God damn it, alright, no, I'm gonna kill you. Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. Get your bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. He can out. Stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to men. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop, farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now, when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in, see, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it, like, rattling around back there. Geek, right? let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. Going up days without food. Well, you see how it is. Lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left to stock it with fish. It's gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. go hunting out here with the old man. We build deer blinds out here. Put down salt licks below us. Pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal. Deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law. The United States Constitution. He could only see us now. America. Land of the free. We are that.
Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Tug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Coat, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some loans for me. Poop. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now, that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Deacon, hey! Look, Deke, Deke! Uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. You have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not... Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Yo, Deke, good to see you. Hey, you, Manny. Okay, man. See you around, Deke. Jesus, this isn't a goddamn bike. Booster, you there? Yeah, Deke. How you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment. Something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out. Make sure the mountain's clear. Uh, those are, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess. Um. I guess, uh. I, know, I could. I could use something for the pain. Yeah, I guess. I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. This is it. The nearest checkpoint. They gotta find some shit for Boozer's arm.
bandages, sterile bandages. Where the hell would they keep this shit? Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How hello. What's this? Nero tank. Ah, some sort of a injector of some kind. Ugh, why the hell not? Boozer, you there? Boozer, goddammit, answer me. He's not picking up. It's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. One more thing. When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. No battle. <laughs> Hey, Boozer, I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! Hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Could have blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. on, let me see that arm. Come on, got it. all right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine.
the last of them. Jesus, Cope, how many men have you pissed off? All right, this has got to be the generator, but it's been shot to hell. this That should be enough. Now, just gotta fix that generator. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be... Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower. Copeland, I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. Hey, Deke, you okay? You don't sound like yourself. It's, uh, it's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me, she was uh, out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay, yeah, fuck. Yes, yes, I let her go. One of these days, Deke, that code of yours is gonna get you killed. Yeah, well, something's gonna do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, goddammit, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit. It's just I'm going a little stir crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, 
Oh, shit's killing me. Man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, there are gunshots. Uh, might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Dick it out. Who's man? You were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. You kill every one of the sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Dick it out. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down. That's the last of them. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deep. I should have been there. Messed up, booze man. Messed up. Uh, right north as soon as your army gets. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Use your army. Oh, where of? Yeah, the best kind of place you want to call home, yeah. Okay, this is it. Yeah, oh, this camp is gonna be crawling. Uh, yeah, going on foot. Nice and quick. 
Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find the hot stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, loser. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North? Yeah. Uh. Raider camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? How many ambushes you set this week, huh? Hey, Dig, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp. Clear out those nests. I've been seeing more freaks up here. Boozer, no! No, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the nests, okay? Yeah. Thanks, Dick. Who's man now? You know I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Third degree burns will do that to you. going on, Cole? A man coming out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. And he said his box got a red tank, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive! You catch this man, then radio him. Fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this cave. No offense meant to yourself. Then take it. I'll find them. Ward here? Yep. Hmm, I bet that blows up real good. Like that, huh? Come on, you sons of bitches, come on!
nest in this shack. Oh yeah, a nest. Okay, you boys just keep right on sleeping. Don't pay no attention. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skid rows in this creek? Country. Is that the last of them? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country. Only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD. It doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The feds are never gonna give us that. I gotta clear the camp. Bunch of this is Mark Cooper from Radio Free Oregon. Escape. Don't believe the lies. That's great! Yeah, Radio Free Oregon is on the air once again! Oh god, what have I done? Hey, nah, I'm not done with you yet. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna finish this shit later. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks up the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go with her? With her lot of them? Uh, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark out. Some of them were strong as hell, though. Yeah. That makes them stronger. I that. Yeah, yeah, Boozer. I knew that. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? What do we got? Uh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> got it. Now I just got to figure out who I'm going to give this to. This. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A near a chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing! Hey, Deke. <laughs> Be careful. Don't get too Come close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
hold on, hold on. They're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping.
Cruiser, you there? Booze man, come back. D, hey, I'm here. We rode on a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't... Not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Okay, uh... Get some sleep. Deke, get out. Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks in the mouth from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go? Were there a lot of them? Yeah, but I wanted to clear them while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers them. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way to do it. But anyway, Ooh. thanks for... Thanks for doing that, Deke. <sighs> Get some shut-eye, Boozer. Deacon out. you a couple of items if you want to swing by. Boozer, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Mass grave. Why did they bury this shit out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. Locked. to the roof. Yeah, that one. 
business. Damn it. That's gonna bring them all down on me. All right. Here we go. Trying to reclaim shit. 
you don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Except, yeah, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. What the hell happened here? Uh, wonder if they left anything worth the effort. Fuse blown. Here's the generator. No, not this way. Feels, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that 
it's gonna bring them all down on me. There really better be something in here with all this trouble. Finally, shut the hell up. Yes, narrow ejector. I gotta burn him out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Sniper ambush. Shoot me, you fucking bastard.
One of the camps can use this. Deer crossing. Well, there was a time where that would have been a bad idea, but you know what? <laughs> it still is. I gotta clear it out. I gotta cut down on the swarmers out here. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests. Hey, someone's here. It's Deacon. Where's Tucker, Alki? Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I'm telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit. The rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. 
You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here, hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. Seems like you, you look like the sort who might have you know. spent some time in the pen. Back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alkai. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. This will do you good out there. What else can I do for you? Good choice. Thanks. Find me if you need anything else. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to.
We can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland, it is. What can I get for you? Get the lead out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, we were fighting for our freedoms. We gave the beautiful right to keep and bear arms. The right we used to protect ourselves, our families, our property. Until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun that they could. Using a few mass shootings as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there went the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. When all this shit went down, if every American was packing heat, do you think we'd be in this mess? Hell no. This is how the feds wanted it. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. Yes! So what those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us, the American taxpayers. Someday, we have a ticket out of this. We'll take a poll. I bet those who survived were those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, Coop, this time you got me. I'll take all the guns I can get my hands on. Ain't no one taking them away from me. <sighs> Come back later and finish burning out these nests. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. I just wanted you to know that the Hot Springs appreciates all that you've been doing for us. Life ain't. Stay out of the way! You're making a difference to a lot of folks. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon out. Wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> hey, Dick. Manny? Loser, why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go out there, Dick. It's it's making you crazy. Loser, I okay. Look, I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the tulips for, huh? I saw them, Dick. Here on the table this morning. Same one she had at the wedding. I remember. 
I'm not gonna... Listen, Boozer, get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. And I'm Tulip's Boozer, there's stone crop. Get it right. Hey, Cope, this man I'm tracking down, who'd he kill? Why do you care? It's just another bounty job, isn't it? Now, look, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Who, Cope? One of them is a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No, I guess not. You find that son of a bitch. You radio me. Copeland out. This is it. There he is! Silver helmet. Red gas tank. That's him. Oh shit! The hell? Damn it! So you thought you could put it on the camp? I shoot the place up. That about right. Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out and just go chopping at the mall. Let him get away, Deke. Myself, if you want to know the truth, give Drifters a bad name. But what if you'd shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You want to cope with Stonies? You little bitch! That's what you are! You little bitch! Cope, it's done. I got him. Mark down these coordinates and send your man out of here. You hear me? Is he alive? Hey, Drifter. 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 Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. You tell him, Drifter. You tell him I said go. Boozer, you there? I'm just calling to check up on you. Hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north. Just like you said. Ah, so. Gotta miss it. We just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer sort of face around these last few days. You sure he's alright? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just too busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady.
I gotta finish burning out this infestation, so. Boundaries. Uh, 
Hey, me again. Deep, I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, it's okay, it's just my arm. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was gonna go away like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I'm losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. <laughs> hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey. Come on! Stabbed me! Oh, yeah. Uh... Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, what? Okay. Just hold this here as soon as you can. Can you run? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Almost there. <laughs> Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged out. <laughs> yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. How are you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Mm. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Hey. Mm. Easy, easy. Uh, uh, she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know? Mm. She used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been good my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We're gonna go that way. Uh, come on. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Oh, yeah, I got her. Go find us a way out. Listen to me, listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's here. a helicopter. You waiting. killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I am sorry, sir. Do anything. You didn't 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 do anything. Well, she's not whatever the hell's going on out there. She's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, O'Brien. Okay? okay. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. We only got room for two of you. We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> come on, help me. Come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're going 
going to be all right. Oh, my God. Let's go. We gotta on, get on that gun. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Can't we have? Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Bruiser is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? No. 